Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Andrea Ali. I'm a professional makeup artist based in Paris. And today's video is going to be about the difference between what I think it is American makeup and French makeup. Every time I do these type of videos, you guys come at me and be like, no, that's not true. I don't do makeup like this. I don't talk about you. I don't know you, okay? So if you feel like you're not doing any of the things that I'm mentioning, if you're French or if you're American, I'm not talking about you. <laughs> I'm talking about like the general image that I have about the US and the French makeup. I'm not American, but I'm also not French. I just happen to live in Paris. If you're new in here, I have created a full online course for beginners. So if you don't know how to apply makeup at all, I have a full course for you. Check out the description box. Now let's get into French and American makeup. Although I would have to say French women are so into skincare, SPF is really not a thing in here. And please, if you're French and if you're crazy about SPF, I'm not talking about you. I deal with a lot of French women. This is my job. I'm a makeup artist. I can see whenever I ask women, like, do you use SPF? They would be like, oh, no, not really. Like, I love to have a little bit of tan, you know. Besides that, there's not much sun in Paris. And it's true, like, the, the weather in here, it's bad. But as we all know, we should wear SPF all the time. So I would say a lot of people in the U.S. are more aware of how damaging the sun is french people are less into sunscreen okay that's the first difference that i've noticed i am going to wear spf uh, on the whole face because yeah that's i do wear spf every day i'm using this make prim this is great especially if you have oily skin and it's great under makeup when it comes to primer, that's something that French women, they're like, primer? Why do I need to use primer? First of all, they don't actually use foundation. If they use foundation, it would be something like super lightweight. What's the reason for primer? However, when it comes to United States, there is such a big market when it comes to primers. So I'm going to be using the Synchro Skin on this side of the face. Listen, it really depends on your skin and it depends on your foundation. But primers will actually make your foundation have um, a better grip. Remember what I said back in 2016? Not to prime is a crime. Foundation, it's not something that French would use really most women that i get in contact with and they're in this world of like fashion and beauty they're not using foundation if they're using foundation they would want something super super lightweight like this new foundation from makeup forever i know you've seen ads on this foundation everywhere but i'm not here to sell you anything i haven't been paid by the brand it's just a super lightweight uh, foundation that I think a French woman would use. I was about to take a brush, but in here, a lot of women, they use their finger when it comes to applying products on the face. This foundation is amazing. <laughs> amazing. Like, I wish I was sponsored by them, but I'm not. It looks really, really good. It's really the type of foundation that a French woman would use because it doesn't really look like you have foundation. This foundation sets on your skin and it will not move. It's fantastic. On this side of the face, I'm going to use this NARS foundation, which I showed, personally showed a lot of love because it's full coverage, like medium to full coverage, depends on how you apply it. Called Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation from NARS. And when it launched, I remember that everybody was like wearing this foundation. It still is a very, very loved foundation. Yeah, I still have. When it comes to the application, because I think that the application is the key when it comes to this cultural difference. French women would be like fingers or maximum brush. In the US, I think the use of a beauty blender, it's so much more often seen. 
So I'm going to use the foundation with a beauty blender. The quantity also of the foundation when it comes to US, it's a lot more than, than what I see women wearing in Paris. It is the same color foundation. However, because I'm applying so much and because this foundation is opaque, it will look a little bit lighter. Concealer is something that French women would use, especially Touche Clat from YSL is something that French women love because it's so lightweight. And the Touche Clat, it's not just a concealer, but you could also use it as a brightening product. Basically, I've applied a little bit too much, but what a French woman would do would be like, okay, a little bit of concealer. And then they would use fingers, of course. And uh, that's pretty much it. You could still see a little bit of darkness under my eyes, but for them, that's totally fine. Because in here, it's not about looking perfect. It's about making yourself look a little bit better. Most of the women that I talk to, like they don't want to change their face with makeup. They like who they are. They just want to improve what they have with a little touch of makeup. On this side, I'm going to apply full coverage concealer. America's top favorite concealer, Tarte Shape Tape. And you know what? It's one of my favorite too. The reason why I like a full coverage concealer, wait, because I didn't do this right. I think this would be more appropriate for US and then spread it with the beauty blender. Yeah, yep. This is very full coverage. It can be really amazing. And let me tell you, the reason why a French woman wouldn't go towards something as full coverage is because it would be they would be afraid, like, oh God, it's too much for me. I'm a makeup artist, so I know how to handle full coverage products to still look good. I would use them. Concealer on the eyelids, of course. Contour for French women? Mm-mm. Mm, 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 mm. They don't do contour. Like the very young generation, the one, the one, you know, people who grew up with watching Instagram and Kim Kardashian and Kylie Jenner. Um, this is what it's like to live in Paris. In here, women love bronzer. They absolutely love bronzer. And they would use the bronzer to warm up their skin. They would not use the bronzer to contour, but more to give the skin that they say la bonne mine, which means a healthy look. Because in French culture, if you have tan, if you have been in the sun, skin, you look beautiful. You look more healthy. So they praise the, the sun and the bronzy look. I think the most popular product when it comes to bronzer would be Guerlain Terracotta. Every French woman knows Guerlain Terracotta. It's a staple. Refer 05 brush, a little bit everywhere. Guerlain was the first company who said that the bronzer should be applied in the three shape, like so. On my left side, of course, I'll be using contour. And this is already probably very familiar to you because you've seen it everywhere on um, American beauty influencers. This is Makeup by Mario Contour Stick. Fantastic product. I think you see me using <laughs> this product a lot. It's just that I don't use it like this. For me, quantity is key. Balance is key in uh, everything, really. Makeup included. And I personally would never apply directly on the skin, but I guess it's very satisfying on Instagram to see people applying it like this. 
I am using a brush to contour this, but I think a lot of people would still prefer to use the beauty blender when it comes to contouring, when it comes to blending the contour. French women don't really use powder. At least if they use powder, they would use it to take the shine away. The glow is super trendy in the US and the whole glowy skin came from the US in here. In here, the glowy skin is considered greasy um, and they would use some powder to mattify the skin, especially like the nose, but they don't use it to set the makeup in place because like I said, most of the times there is no makeup to such. They would probably take a pressed powder. I don't see women in here using loose powder, you know, just to take the shine away like so. As we know, Laura Mercier loose powder, it's like the king. But in the US, you use the powder to set the makeup in place, to like not move, because obviously there's a lot of makeup going on. And I see a lot of people in the US setting the concealer with the powder applied with the beauty blender, like so. Now, there is nothing wrong on doing this. And then you do a little bit of maybe the baking technique. There's nothing wrong with this side of face, just like there's nothing wrong with this side of uh, the face. It's like, and if you're saying, oh, oh, this is so much better. It's like saying, oh, I like chocolate so much more than vanilla. They, they're both amazing, right? It's just that they're different, very different. Also in the US, a lot of people want to look like what celebrities look like on social media. In here, Celebrities don't really look like in the US, meaning they're not as, they're not into like looking flawless. They're okay embracing their, you know, their flaws. Like you would see a lot of French actresses with a more prominent nose or like very thin lips, dark circles, it's fine to them. They, they just embrace their beauty in a different way than in the US. Again, it's not better or worse, it's just different. I would have to say when it comes to blush, French women don't really use blush. They they think it's a little clownish to use blush. Same when it comes to highlighter. So I'm going to skip altogether highlighter and blush when it comes to French makeup because it wouldn't be realistic, honestly. I know that in the US a lot of people use blush, so I'm going to take the the video doesn't do it justice but this is a very very pretty pink blush from uh dior french women do not use highlighter they don't want to shine in the us the glow it's all about the glow it's it's all about shining it's all about that beautiful dewy glossy skin so i'll be using this Danessa Myricks, it's called Dew Wet Balm, and I'll take it with a beauty blender. I've squished it like this and get it. Let's talk about eyebrows. French women recently started to be more into applying something on their eyebrows. A tinted eyebrow gel or a clear eyebrow gel is more than enough for them. It's also a matter of age. Like if you're talking with a woman that is over 50 or over 45, uh, they would really not use anything on their eyebrows unless maybe they have a daughter that would teach them to use something for their eyebrows. Uh, but most of them wouldn't use anything. If they're under 45, I would say, they could use like a tinted eyebrow gel. I'm under 45. I'm under 40, okay? To make things clear, I'll be using a tinted brow gel. This is from Charlotte Tilbury. But in here, what they would use, it would be more like Benefit, the number one brand for eyebrows in here. If they are using anything for uh, eyebrows, it would be Benefit. Anastasia came uh, in the picture later in 2016. Benefit definitely won the marketing game in France. So this is the max that they would do. 
what do we see on Instagram? A fuller eyebrow, like fluffy, fuller eyebrows, right? I'm going to use the Anastasia Brow Wiz. This is in medium brown. I feel like five years ago, the eyebrows were a lot more intense everywhere on social media, but especially uh, US artists, they would do a much stronger eyebrow than what they do nowadays. Yeah, that's this is more of a very American style type of eyebrow. It's still pretty, but it's just different. And of course, eyebrow gel because we want to make them look somewhat natural. More like so. Now let's do the eyes and I'm gonna have to ask you to come closer, please, with the camera. In women in France, they do love a good eye. Like, like black on the eye, not all over the eyelids, but they love a good black pencil at the base of the lashes. Uh, and that's pretty much it. And a lot of mascara. That's what they would use. I'm going to apply some black pencil. With all due respect to French women, you do not apply it as good as I'm going to apply it right now. Because what I see a lot of times is, because I see a lot of the skin peeking between the lashes, like you don't go with the pencil in between the lashes. I will take a brush, but I know that most women would smudge this with their finger. Also, most women in here, they don't really do the, the flick. It really depends. I did it because I really look bad if I don't prolong this line. When it comes to mascara, I think the most popular in here would be mascara from Dior, Dior Show. A lot of women love and use that mascara a lot. If there is one product that they love to use, that is mascara. Mascara is a, is a must in a French woman's makeup kit. And they also like to apply mascara on the lower lashes. I'm using YSL, of course, very French. YSL mascara, and it's super, super black. And that's it for the eye makeup when it comes to the French side. When it comes to the American side, I will use the Persona Cosmetics Identity Palette because I feel like women in the US, they're a lot more into applying neutral colors on the eyes. I'll take this color right here. It's called Charming with a MAC 221. Sorry guys, this brush looks like it's discontinued on the website, like I don't find it. Ah, I forgot to use a primer. <clears throat> primer on the eyelids is definitely something that in the US, is, like it's used. In here, it's used less. <laughs> I will get this in the crease. Outer corner, like so. Taking another brush and applying that same color on the lower eyelid. Another thing that's very different, I feel like in the US, women actually have a lot of um, brushes, a lot more brushes than, than here, at the base of the lashes all along them. Now taking a clean brush, and make sure this is nice and well blended and then i will take this dark color this is fearless it's like a neutral dark brown and with a sigma l04 brush i will get this color at the base of the lashes And then the same color, lower lashes, eyeliner. I feel like eyeliner is such an important and very used product um, 
in the US. I'll use this Tom Ford because it's the easiest one for me to use. I feel like in the US, you know, people would use also falsies, like false lashes, but I'm not gonna apply them because the last few years, the makeup has changed. I think with the pandemic, people have been using just more mascara, not that much falsies. Maybe it's just me. Let me know. Do you guys use falsies? Mascara on the lower lashes. A little bit of shimmer and I will take this color right here with my finger this is called gold digger this on the mobile lid and of course the inner corner okay that's pretty much it for the for the American side. Now let's move on with lips. US loves a good nude lipstick. If I want to get a, a really good statement nude, I would definitely go more towards like an indie American brand or like uh, definitely like a very American brand like Tarte or now like Dose of Colors or like Fenty, Too Faced, because when it comes to French brands, like let's just take YSL, they do create neutral colors, but never like a statement or nude. And what I mean by statement nude is that nude is that very warm tone, very light brown, warm tone, light brown, that almost looks like concealer on the lips. That's something that in the US is like so appreciated. In terms of lip liner, oh, I know, oh, I know, Patricta, such an amazing artist and also very sweet. So I'll take his lip liner. This is in, oh, she's single. Let's overline the lips because, yeah. Okay, this is the type of lipstick that I'm talking about. Okay, you see it's very warm, it's very light. This is definitely more American and then with a pinch of pink in the inner lip, like, I don't have a lipstick close by, like a little bit of pink right here. The French side, what could be more French than Dior? Lipstick, of course, Dior. 999. This is a staple. Look how beautiful and velvety this is. This is Rouge Dior 999 Velvet. French women do not overline their lips ever. But they would very often apply the lipstick and then smudge it with the finger. Okay, and this is something that women would wear without the eye makeup. Mascara and that's it. Like, in here, women would not apply eyeliner and lip altogether. I wanted to show you the most French lip ever but to be completely honest with you if a woman applies this much makeup because this is a lot for them in france right if they apply this much makeup on the eyes they would definitely not have a red lipstick they would apply a lip balm i'll take this off because it's not realistic with the eye took the lipstick off i'm applying some la mer lip balm not saying that french women 
uses La Mer. Actually, when it comes to lip balm, they love something that you find in the pharmacy like Aquaphor or um, Velita. They're not that much into very expensive uh, lip balms. They spend their money on a Chanel bag. They would save long to get that Chanel bag. You know, it's all about priorities. <laughs> this is a very realistic French application of makeup. Let's cover it. This is the American side and I think it looks gorgeous. It's very camera ready. It's, it, like I said, in the US, people are very much inspired by what they see on TV or social media. If I'm not mistaken, I mean, I'm not in the US, but I think that the Kardashian makeup has sort of changed the whole world but especially in the US, um, and it has transformed the, the whole makeup industry. Like if you think about how many products I was using in here and how many products I was using on this side, it's just, that's where you see the difference also in terms of consumption. I think in the US, people are all about, okay, let's let's get this and let, let's buy this and we need to have this. And it's all about consuming, which is, I think it's not necessarily a bad thing. French side, it's something that I would wear on a regular basis. Like I would wear it going on for a French event where I need to meet people, where I have to meet people face to face. Overall, like I said at the beginning of the video, I like both. It's just that I wouldn't wear this on a regular basis. However, this makes you look flawless in every single picture. And I even forgot the bronzer because I should have applied bronzer. Damn, I should have applied bronzer. I forgot the bronzer. How did I forget the bronzer? How did I forget the bronzer? Babe, why didn't you tell me about the bronzer? I didn't know. <sighs> okay, I'll do it now. I don't have any American bronzer. Oh, I know, Hula. What can be more American than Hula? From Benefit. Hula from Benefit. Okay, now this is much better. I wanna know what your opinion is about both of the makeup. There's no right or wrong. It's just different. It's a different culture and I think we should stop um, saying that it's better here and it's better here and they are doing better and French people are doing it better. One of the reasons why French women are not applying that much makeup is because they don't have any interest in that, okay? So because they don't have any interest, they don't know how to do it, so they would rather apply the least amount of product. That's the reality. Let me know please in the comments which one of the two makeup looks you like the most? What would you wear? I don't care where you are in the world. What would you wear? What is more like your makeup type? Make sure that you follow me on Instagram. And if you don't know this yet, I have a full online makeup course for beginners. Find all the details in the description box. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Are you having another coffee? It's decaf, okay? I would say this one is American, this one's French. Duh, of course. But I'm which one you like more? The French one because it's not so much makeup. You can see like literally everything. What do you mean you see right side? On the left. What do you mean you see everything? What do you mean by that? Texture, everything. Um, no, she's no, she's lying. I have no texture. My skin is flawless. <sighs> okay, we need to go to take baby Eden from your mom. This is a whole mess here. Yes, you're gonna arrange it. Thank you.